All right. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the iSpring Solutions webinar series, where every week we talk about e-learning trends, share iSpring tips and tricks, and cover clients' cases. My name is Paulina. I am the community manager at iSpring, and I will be the moderator for today's webinar, where we will be talking about how to improve promotion campaign effectiveness through e-learning. And to cover this topic, I have invited my colleague and actually a person with a great experience in this sphere, Eugene Boyko. Hi, Eugene. How are you doing today? Hi, Paulina. Thank you for introducing me. I'm, I'm just great. Uh, wonderful. Hello. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Hello, everyone, once more. Uh, thank you for coming to the webinar. Uh, the topic of our webinar today is how to improve promotion effectiveness using e-learning tools. Once again, my name is uh, Eugene, uh, and I've been working in retail since uh, 2002 and in FMCG since 2008. And FMCG means that the fast moving consumption goods, and this is everything that you can buy in retail stores, all those groceries, discount stores, super and hypermarket, etc. I introduced new brands to the Baltic market, such as John West, Tinnet Fish, Sandal Four Gems from France, worked with such brands like Milk Chocolates, Oreo Biscuits, Paulic Coffee, Lavazza, and Pelini Coffee, and organized sales process and promotion activities for them. And now I've been working for iSpring for a year, and I learned a lot about e-learning and many things that I did before began to look different. Uh, today I will share my knowledge with you and perhaps for some of you I'll open a door uh, to new opportunities that e-learning provides. In this session we will go through the following topics. How, promo com how promotional campaigns can affect your business, who affects sales directly, the risks of informational leaks and common problems in promotional management. It would be very interesting for me to go back five, eight years ago and use the knowledge that I have today in my work at that time, because I'm sure this would have helped me to achieve greater results at all stage of working with brands. E-learning provides a way to reduce losses due to the human factor, because we all know that the human factor can greatly affect sales results. On this slide, you can see a simplified flowchart of what promotional campaigns, campaigns are used for. In modern trade, promotional sales can easily reach 70% of the total sales in product. Good execution of a promotion leads to better results that can contribute to product inclusion into the chain assortment, assortment expansion, and increasing buyer awareness. So it is very important to execute the promotion as effectively as it possible. And of course, a well thought, but purely, purely executed promo campaign is a waste of money. Uh, we all know that product does not sell by itself. There are people who stand behind it, who make sure that the product is placed correctly on a shelf, its price tax is neat and clean, and all the information about this product is always available to clients. So these are our heroes, direct sales influencers. They are us in the eyes of our customers. But these are real people with families, their own problems, needs, and emotions. They are not robots and can be perfect all the time. As agents, we met with them at, at a time that might not always be convenient. We present a product to them when they might be tired, are thinking about other things, and are not ready to retain the information. All this leads to failure. But what if I tell you that we can help them to do their job better? Here's where e-learning comes in handy and reduces the human factor risk that I mentioned before. And that's why I feel it is very important to me to talk about it today and share my experience. So here we can see an example of um, a sales organization structure. 
which can be different in your case, but I think you can find similarities in informational flow when those people who organize promos can see and get feedback from people who are at the forefront. So basically, there is a gap. Uh, it is shown he, here in yellow uh, between the people who initialize promo activities and people who execute their ideas. And this part is exactly the uh, part where risks of information leaks exist. So, and by the way, it is often a matter of discussion between the brand owners or representatives and brand managers. So, and based on the above mentioned scheme, it turns out that we are facing the following problems. No time. You need to plan your travel when it is especially hard or even impossible during the COVID-19 pandemic. Team meetings are often hard to coordinate due to the different schedule of each team member. No control. There is no real feedback about the state of readiness for the promotion. You just never know who got the materials and info about the promotion details and you can't change anything based on the info received from the line personnel. No flexibility, no possibility to react, uh, of reacting in a timely manner when something goes wrong. There is often something that could be done better if you only knew about it beforehand, but you just don't know what is happening. Okay, so now that we covered these problems that pop up, let's talk about the solution. Uh, I have already mentioned that e-learning can help, so let me go over the how part in, the, in detail. I will take a regular PPT presentation of a company promotion, promotion, which is usually printed out and taken to a meetings with line personnel by a brand representative or other responsible person to inform them about promotion details. I'll show you how we can enhance it to make the content stick we will also go over some tips to fill the info gap. So let's open the presentation. I prepared it. One moment. Yep. And here it is. I'll just show it in a PowerPoint because it's, it's just the usual thing when these presentations uh, prepare it in PowerPoint. And okay, so this is a simple presentation of promotional activity that we show our line stuff. Since Christmas is coming soon, I used the theme of Christmas. Let's take a quick look at this presentation. So let's imagine we are promoting two new flavors of chocolate brand Cocoa and promotion take place on week 51 and 52. And here we show the design and info about the new product. The same on the second page. And by the way, on the next slide, I used for, I used our Icepink Suite authoring tool, which works like an add-in to the PowerPoint. As you can see, it, it is a PowerPoint ribbon. Uh, and I used interactions model to make this part a little bit more attractive and user-friendly. I did this right from the PowerPoint without even switching between the apps. And here it is, you can see this model. And using the preview button, we can go to this interactive part and see how two previous slides look like for line personal if they if we will use the interactions model and we are getting just a flip chart where people just can click on flip cards and check away what what information do they need to see and above we can check out how this look on different devices because our tool allows uh, the information to be adapted to to the device you are using and even on mobile phone this all can be seen greatly so this is how it looks like in e-learning mode
Okay, let's return. Then, promotional branding. Of course, any promotion will have better results with additional promotional support. Let's say we have tastings during the promotion and how promotion tabling clothing will look. Display booth information, we are going to use display booth. Here is a planogram for chocolates, bars and the quantities and so on. Some info about the media campaign. How can I improve it? I can add a video sample right from YouTube using YouTube feature in our Spring Suite 10. And by the way, I already prepared it, a new slide, and I can show you how can it be done. We're just adding a new slide here and using YouTube feature. And we can put any video from YouTube or any other external channel to be shown in the presentation. One moment, it's, it just attached the video from YouTube. And here it is in the preview mode. We can check out how it will look like for, for the line personal staff who want to get this presentation. So they will be able to see it right from their devices. Okay, let's return to our presentation. Then, uh, of course, how can we not have discounts during the promotion? Of course, a minimum discount is 25%. And here are the stores that uh, we have agreement with. It is Tesco, Lidl and 7-Eleven. Those retailers will run this promotion on the weeks 20, uh, 31 and uh, sorry, 51 and 52. So overall, this is how a regular PowerPoint promotion representation looks like. And as you have already seen, we can make them more interactive on even on informational slides by using the interactions menu. So let's just add a small quiz at the end of the presentation in which we ask our agents to answer a couple of questions about the presentation. And again, the best thing here is that you can stay in the PowerPoint presentation and just use the iSpring Suite ribbon to add a quiz. Here we have, we can switch between the PowerPoint features and go to iSpring Suite 10 ribbon, choose a quiz and create a quiz on the next slide after our presentation. And let's create a graded quiz So, uh, we can add before the quiz uh, and warn the, our agents that uh, they will get this promo uh, quiz uh, on the next page and add a question and let's choose, uh, I have prepared a hotspot question for the trainees and let's choose, uh, it's from a slide. Oops. Yep, and I decided to test them out uh, what promo chains accepted and to run the promo. And we are just choosing that correct answer is little, the next correct answer is 7 Eleven, and the next correct answer is Tesco. All other parts will be incorrect. And here below the slide, we can choose what's happening if uh, the correct answer is taken and what's happening if the incorrect answer is taking, uh, uh, happening. And we can create a branching scenario here and send the user to another question. Okay, so let's just create a simple yes, no question for our line personnel and just ask them, them what's the information uh, in the pre presentation, clear. Yes, it was. No, it wasn't. 
and uh, let's create an essay question for the trainees who just didn't understand anything from the presentation and please clarify yep so and if we decided to ask the uh, line personnel who did not understand what is happening what 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 the information did they got uh, with the incorrect answer we're just sending them to please clarify a say question and if they understand everything we just finish the quiz and uh, let's check out what what do we have right now and preview the entire quiz and here it is we are starting the quiz we have this uh, a question type uh, at the first place let's choose correct questions yeah thank you uh let's choose that we did not understand anything from the previous presentation okay and then we are getting the essay question type and just you, the people who receive this this quiz will be able to write something sorry didn't get a clue of anything else anything else about the promotion maybe they don't understand what is the pricing uh they don't see what's happening in their shops and they just don't understand what's happening at least we'll be able to get the information from them what what do they need additionally to the information that they already have in the presentation submit yep so we didn't complete this quiz because of the second question and let's close it let's save and return to the course and here now we have uh, a quiz as a part of the presentation. So what next? Mm -hmm. Let's check out what happened to the presentation. If we will convert it all to the learning content. Yeah, it, it converts the presentation to HTML5 format. And we can check out how this information will look to, to our line personnel. And we can click those slides we had as a PowerPoint and now they are just as a interactive presentation. Yep, we have this interactivity as a part of this presentation now. Promotional branding, information about media campaign, stores. And here we are again coming to the squeeze, choosing everything correctly. Yep. Yes, information was clear. And we don't even get the essay question because everything is clear and fine. And so, when we checked this all, we can publish all the presentation to our iSpring space and uh, iSpring space is a repository which you, which, you, which you can have getting the iSpring suite and where you can store and share your projects with other other people to for reviewing purposes and when it comes to reporting and tracking the results we don't want to do it manually and this is where lms becomes handy in our case we can publish presentation directly to iSpring learn lms in, enroll all the necessary users and create all reports instantly uh, i've done it previously yesterday uh, here is our dashboard of our iSpring learn lms and in fact overview of the lms features and how you can use them for your business goals is a topic for another webinar and if you are interested we can organize this event for you but uh all i wanted to show you here that we have this chocolate promo campaign right here uh, uploaded into lms and let's go to reports section and just choose courses 
Yesterday, I enrolled uh, this uh, course to several people in our company, and some of them completed this this uh, presentation and test. Let's check it out. Yeah, here we have this chocolate promo campaign, and we can check out the department progress. Uh, let's choose. I have created agents department in the Icepring Learn where all these people want to test out, and we can see that there are 15 people in the department and only 6.7% are trained. And let's check out their learner progress. And what we can see here, we can see that uh, several people didn't even start. Uh, two people failed this, this test and one person completed this test. And uh, learner results can be seen here what is good we can always check out the quizzes results in our system and let's just choose the same campaign here check out the agents that one that we tested out and send this information to them and we can see that we have uh three people who at least started the course two failed let's check out what 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 was the result why did they fail and we can see the results of this test how they answer it, choose an incorrect answer uh, during the hotspot user answer. Here, here, here it was correctly. Uh, on the second slide, they choose no, they don't understand anything. And on the third slide, where essay question was placed, they just, the, this specific user, which is uh, Tanya Kotet, uh, just gave us information that she don't understand anything that's all of course of course uh any slides can be used any questions uh, can be used and this all allows you to just to see what trainees got the test what trainees failed this test what trainees i mean lines uh, line personal that you want to uh to intro introduce to this this promotion and that's overall that's all uh, lms system allows you to manage all the trainings and to see all the results of your presentations and quizzes so then summarizing what we have done in fairly simple way at least partially we solved the previously voiced problems associated with the implementation of promotional activities so no time uh you of course you can't be any everywhere especially now during the covid pandemic but you can send the content to all the appropriate people in just a few clicks and then they can get their information from their mobile phones desktops ev everywhere where internet is is possible to use no control just quiz the people at the forefront of promotions and use an lms for instant reporting no flexibility request the feedback and receive it instantly and i also wanted to mention a few more things that e-learning addresses and uh, that i would like to 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 tell though that traveling is still necessary uh, but uh, it's not uh, necessary to go and to show this presentational materials so in my idea this is just just a technical information that need needs to be remembered by the land personnel and it's better when you travel to motivate so with your motivational programs not just to demoralize, demoralize them with your presentations uh, of course uh, e-learning allows you to save paper fuel health nerve cells <laughs> etc uh, using e-learning you can uh, invent uh, one management standard for all the promotions and you can neutralize the lack of communication and in this case i just want to return to one point of our presentation in this case i mean that uh, if all these people can be a part of uh, e-learning and can be added to e-learning management system this means that these people who are usually not contacting directly to these agents, merchandisers, and land personnel actually 
with the help of these people, they can contact directly using LMS system and can get reports about them right in their accounts. But as again, this is a feature of LMS system and it's just another question for another webinar. So overall, we would like to go to Q&A portion where I will try to answer your questions. And if you would like to discuss your project in more detail and find a, a solution for your project, you are welcome to email me. And uh, yeah, you can leave your contacts in the chat, in uh, our chat right now. Don't worry, no one will see your contact detail besides, besides ourselves. Thank you, waiting for your questions. Thank you so much, Eugene. Uh, yes, we are ready to start our Q&A. Eugene, could you please share with everyone what is the difference between iSpring Suite and iSpring Learn? Okay, this this is uh, an easy question. Uh, iSpring Suite is an authoring tool. iSpring Suite allows you to, to take all your content, PowerPoint presentations, uh, add e-learning content to them, quizzes, uh, videos, um, voiceovers, and so on, and save this content uh, as an e-learning content or, or to upload it to your LMS if you use it. While the iSpring Learn LMS is an online platform where you store your content, where you add your people, divide them by departments and groups, and connect them, this content that you uploaded, and people. And there are several settings available to um, for the courses. You can certify them uh, after completing the course and so on. So learning management system is a system where you manage your process, training process, while the iSpring Suite is an authoring tool where you create your content. I hope mm -hmm. I answered the question. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Perfect. Let's move on to the next one. I have lots of docs and PDFs. Can mm -hmm. I turn them into something you've just shown? Yes, yes. And this, this is the best thing about the iSpring Suite that uh, you, you just do everything in a PowerPoint. When you install the iSpring Suite 10, you just get it as a part of the PowerPoint. And in any moment, you can switch and add something between the slide, dialogue simulations, screencasts, anything, just just in a few clicks. And that is the best thing. And if you will go to different reviews on independent independent portals about the e-learning, you will find uh, everywhere that uh, iSpring Suite is just very user-friendly tool that do not require any learning curve for you to, 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 to start using it. So mm -hmm. I hope I answered it. Okay, uh, let's cover one more question. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm not a designer. How can I make my courses look professional? Uh, I think this is a matter for discussion, uh, but overall, uh, we, by the way, we have also different recourse from webinars, Palina, if I remember, where mm -hmm. we show people how to make those uh, presentations more attractive. Just, 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 Paulina, can I ask you about this if we have this recourse on our YouTube channel? Uh, you mean about the uh, content how, library? Um, overall, how to make the presentations more attractive. Yes, of course, in our content library, we have slight templates that are ready for you to be used. But so, and uh, using them, you can create your courses right away from these templates and they will look fantastic. But uh, if you are interested, just email us and we will send you the inf more information about this, this topic. We do have a, a whole webinar on how to create a presentation from scratch using just yep. iSpring, iSpring Suite yep. capability. And it looks just as, as good as, I guess, the professional designer would, would make it look. Okay, so I think we can cover the last question for today and wrap up our session. So uh, the last question would be, um, Eugene, could you please go over the pricing for iSpring solutions that you discussed? 
Uh, yeah, as I mentioned before, uh, by the way, you can go to iSpring Solutions website. We have all the prices in our website. And uh, we are offering annual subscriptions to our customers. And uh, iSpring Switch Suite authoring tool costs from $770 per year to $970 per year. And this iSpring Max uh, package just includes additional. So everything that you, you can create in iSpring Suite, all the squeezes and directions and so on are included in both packages. But uh, this $200 more package includes also content library with many different templates, backgrounds, characters, and so on. iSpring Space, um, your private cloud-based account, which is needed to store and share your presentations and priority technical support, which is very, very, very good. And you can check it out in all our reviews. And uh, iSpring Learn management system, which is an online training platform, costs starting from four, as I remember, thousand dollars per year for 100 users. And it's approximately, it, it costs $3.66 to train one user, one trainee or one this agent per month. But uh, if you want to understand it better, just contact me later after our webinar and I will explain it to you. Thank you so much. Um, all right, so I think we can, we are ready to wrap up our session. I hope it was useful to everyone. Thank you very much, folks, for coming today and spending uh, this valuable 30 minutes with us. And I would like to thank you, Eugene, for providing this information. Um, just um, thanks a lot. Thank you. thank you, Paulina. Thank you all who came today to this webinar. Uh, I hope you will email me and just in in any case uh, ask any questions. Yes, and I will try to to assist you in your projects. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay, so I hope everyone has a wonderful day. Please fill out the survey at the end of the webinar, and we will see you at the next session. Bye, everybody, and bye, Eugene. Goodbye.